Hello, in today's video, I've brought my friend Gabrielle from Paris. Hello. And uh, we're going to have a challenge of who can build the best PC on Amazon for less than £700. We have 10 minutes, so let's begin. Okay, so my plan is to go in full AMD configuration. So I'm going to try to find a, a GPU, uh, not, not too expensive, not too, um, not too bad neither, because uh, with £700, it's, uh, it's an amount of money, but it's not that much. Uh, so I'm still gonna try to spend the more money I can on the GPU. Then I would get a uh, Ryzen 5, um, but I'm gonna take surely the 5000 series, even the driver. So my plan today is to use an RTX 3060. Well, it's a good GPU that now you can get for about... Okay, so you can get it for under £300, and I think that Gabrielle would have also gone for NVIDIA. He is a very big fan of NVIDIA, he doesn't really like AMD. So he would have probably gone for Intel and NVIDIA. I'm going to spend lots of money on my CPU. Maybe, uh, maybe I should look at how much an RTX 3070 will cost. Let's see how much that will cost. If it's under £320, then I'll buy it. Oh, no, no. That's near four to five hundred pounds so that's quite expensive and um let's see what about the 60 ti because i feel like 300 pounds would be the right price range this one actually has less ram which is quite weird because you would expect a more expensive graphics card to have more ram as well so here i found it for about 350 pounds so 15 pounds yep 315 pounds i reckon this might make me go over budget but I think it's worth it. So I went for an IMD Ryzen 5500 uh, series because uh, it's quite cheap. I got it for £82. Um, it's still a good processor and motherboards for this processor are really, are really cheap, uh, unlike the 7000 series. I think M Edmund's gonna go for full AMD too, but he's gonna go over budget as he always do. Uh, so I'm now going to go for a GPU, uh, it's gonna be the RX, mm, it's gonna be in the 5000 series, uh, maybe the 5700 XT. Uh, I'm planning not to put more than 300 pounds in a GPU. For my CPU, I'm gonna go with AMD. Okay, Edmund! So for my CPU, I'm gonna go with AMD Ryzen. It's probably going to be, I'm going to go with Ryzen 5000, so let's see how much of uh, Ryzen 7. I'm not sure if this one comes with a fan, hopefully it will be, but no. Oh wait, that's a motherboard, okay. That seems to be a little bit on the expensive side, but I reckon, okay, I'm going to downgrade. I'm going to go from the Ryzen 7 7800X to the Ryzen 7, uh, wait, did I say 7800? I meant 5800X. And the, uh, I'm going to go to the Ryzen 7 5700X, which would be a little bit cheaper, hopefully. So I found this uh, GPU, uh, which is a uh, MSE Gaming Radeon RX uh, 5700 XT for around £234. Uh, pounds. I'm French, so I think in Euros. Uh, I think it's quite a good price. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add it to cart. Now I'm going to go and find a good motherboard. So I'm changing my mind again about which GPU which I'm using. So I started off with the 3060, then the 3060 Ti. Then I went to the RX 7600 XT. But I found out that the RTX 4060 is cheaper than the 3060 Ti. And it's probably more powerful. So let's go... For Oh, 4060 and it should come up let's see how much this costs ok so it's just under 300 pounds and I've read that this is more powerful than the RX 7600 XT so this will be quite good and I reckon Gabrielle will have much worse GB ok so I will actually get a decent motherboard it will be uh, the MSI uh, MPG uh, B, I'm gonna go in the B uh, series because it's cheaper and in that, in that price range, sorry, 
the base series are really good. Um, it's gonna be the MSE uh, BPG uh, B550. Uh, so it's quite good, uh, not that old and has a lot of uh, ports, so it's very good. So uh, I got a PC case quite uh, cheap. Uh, I'm not gonna go over everything um, right now, you're gonna see at the end. So I'm changing my mind again about which GPU which I'm using. So I started off with the 3060, then the 3060 Ti, then I went to the RX 7600 XT, but I found out that the RTX 4060 is cheaper than the 3060 Ti and is probably more powerful. Okay, so it's just under 300 pounds, and I've read that this is more powerful than the RX 7600 XT, so this would be quite good. And I reckon Gabrielle will have much worse GP. So now we're going to decide which um, was better. So we're going to announce to each other what we did. And Gabrielle is going to go first. So Gabrielle, what did you do? Okay, so firstly I would like to say that I went a little bit over budget. Um, five pounds over budget. I think you went a lot over budget. Did you? Well, um... I, I went a bit more of a budget, so I went twenty pounds over budget. Okay, we have to count out. Uh, we have to count it in the global notes. overall result. Yeah. Okay, so for the processor, uh, I went uh, for with a an IMD Ryzen five, uh, five thousand five hundred uh, six core twelve threads, uh, unlocked. Alright. Yeah. Um, I went for an MSI Radeon. RX uh, 5700 XT, so uh, boost clock, so you can overclock it. Then uh, the motherboard is just a motherboard. Then what, uh, what um, chip does the motherboard have? Like, the, uh, is it a B? B? Yeah, B. So okay. then I went for a 850 watts uh, uh, PSU uh, and for 30. 2 gigs of RAM of Corsair Vengeance, uh, 2 times 16 gigs, um, and a solid state drive of 1 terabyte and a HDD of 2 terabytes. Oh no. What? I forgot a PSG. <laughs> okay, that, so now that Edmund has his PSG, we can uh, continue. Just make sure my phone won't fall. Okay, so. Uh, we saw what I got. What did you got? Okay, so now that I've got a PSU, I'm now thirty pounds over budget. Damn. So I downgraded my motherboard to an A series so that you can't overclock. But I mean, is overclocking really that important? So my motherboard's now only fifty pounds, which is really quite cheap. So I've got a MSI A650 uh, six hundred and fifty watt PSU. It's 80 plus bronze, so it's quite efficient, but it's not the best. And for my motherboard, well, it doesn't look great. It's probably not great. It's limited to, um, for um, RAM, it's limited to 4,600, which I mean, no, that's loads for DDR4. And it is a MSI A520M. For my um, case, I quite like fractal cases, so I've got the cheapest fractal case that I could find, which was the Fractal Design Focus G for uh, my storage. I decided that I don't want a hard drive, so I've gone for two terabytes of Crucial P3 um, SSD storage, and that goes up to three and a half gigabytes a second. And for my RAM, I'm sure you're clicking away on the other side. For my RAM, I've gone for 16 gigabytes. Yeah, 16 gigabytes of um, 3,200 megahertz DDR4 RAM for my graphics card. So this is where all my money went. The P, uh, the um, processor and the graphics card. And um, so my graphics card is the RTX 4060. And my processor is the Ryzen 7 5700X. 
So make sure you comment down below which one you think is the better PC. And if you would be, uh, if you think that 30, <laughs> wait, what is he doing? Oh, uh, oh, I have one apparently. Wait, <laughs> I think he just wrote that with his finger on the paint app. So <laughs> it's quite bad. Thank you to all uh, to have watched, and uh, see you soon in the next video. And subscribe, and um, you'll see more of Gabrielle.